Hey everyone, in this video we're going to compute this improper integral. If we get an answer, then we can say the integral converges. If we don't get an answer, if we get like uh, does not exist, infinity, uh, negative infinity, then we say it diverges. So we know it's improper because of the infinity symbol. So I'm thinking um, a good way to do this maybe would to be first to work with the indefinite integral and then go back and deal with these limits. Let's do it that way. So first let's just focus on the indefinite integral. So x ln x. All right, so um, to do this integral, you just make a u substitution, right? You'll let u be ln x. And the reason I know to do that is because you have to have um, some foresight, right? Like, now you know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x dx, right? And so what that does is um, that fits what's in the integrand, right? Because now look, you can write this as simply um, du over u. So how did I do that? Let me, let me explain it a little bit more clear. So you can think of this as um, follows. So it's really 1 over x, and then here you have your ln x, and then here you have dx. So your 1 over x dx, right, that's your, that's your du, right? And then your u is the, is the ln, so, so that will be this piece here is your du. So I've only replaced the du at this point, right, du, and then you have your u. This is going to be ln, absolute value of u, plus a constant which is not really going to matter because we have limits, right? So, uh, but, but I'll write it as a formality. And this is the natural log of the absolute value of ln x plus the constant. So that's the, that's the indefinite one, right? You can, always do, you can always do that, right? You can do the indefinite one first and then come back and deal with, with the limits. All right, now let's deal with this bad boy. So you have e to infinity of dx over x ln x. So what we can do now is use the definition, right? This is the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from e to b of dx over x ln x. So when you're first learning this, it's a bit of like, like a whoa. It's a lot of notation, right? So you've learned limits, you've learned integrals, and now you have the limit of an integral. It's like boom. Um, so it's a, big, it's a big step up in notation, and it just takes some getting used to, and you, know, you just gotta be careful. So we can replace the infinity with the b, let b approach infinity. We worked this out already, right? This is going to be the limit as b goes to infinity. And this is, this is the answer here, right? So this will be uh, ln, absolute value ln x, and we're going from e to b, right? So this it's a definite integral. So you take the indefinite one and you add the limits of integration, right? So now we have to do this. This basically means you plug in the b first, subtract and plug in the e, so let's do it. So this is the limit as b goes to infinity. So we plug in the b for the x. This will be ln, absolute value ln, b, absolute value, put a parentheses here, minus ln, absolute value ln, e. ln e is one. So this becomes the ln of 1, so this becomes 0, so this is no problem, this is, this is good. But this is bad, right? b is approaching infinity, and when b approaches infinity, ln b also approaches infinity. If you don't know why, the easiest way, perhaps the best way to know why, is to think about the graph, right? The graph of ln x looks like this, right? So when x approaches infinity, the y values also approach infinity, right? So L and B approaches infinity, so you have ln of something approaching infinity, so it still approaches infinity, so this whole thing is equal to infinity. So this is equal to infinity, and so this improper integral is said to diverge. So this actually diverges. So recap, we decided in this problem to take the following approach. We took the indefinite one, right, first. We worked that out. I just felt it might be easier, right? I, I didn't really think about the problem. I just thought, okay, let's try to integrate it. Maybe it'll be hard, maybe it'll be easy. And it ended up being pretty easy. So this, you could have done it all at once. But we did it this way, and we got the answer. This is the indefinite one. Then we decided, okay, let's do the actual problem. So when you're doing the problem, you basically always replace your infinity with a letter. So like I like to use b. So b goes to infinity. We work this out to get this. 
plug in B, subtract, plug in E, subtract. Again, this piece here is LN1, which is actually zero, so that's not even relevant in the problem, right? But this goes to infinity, so the LN of something going to infinity is also going to infinity, so you get infinity. It's not a real number, so it diverges. The only time it'll ever converge is if this is actually equal to a number. So if you get a number, then you say uh, it converges, so. So that's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who is doing some calculus. Take care.